Hey everybody, my name is Jeremy. I'm the animal care manager for the new Hippo and Penguin facility. We're eager to show you guys all of the new progress that's happening. And we're starting right here with the beautiful Hippo sculptures that are gonna be going in the exhibit. So come on, let's go. So guys, here we are at the entrance to the penguin exhibit. So when you guys come into the zoo, the first exhibit you're gonna encounter at Water's Edge is our penguin exhibit. And this is the habitat. So we're gonna have a path that winds. You're gonna be actually able to walk through the penguin exhibit with the penguins potentially at your feet, just like our wallaby exhibit, if you've been to our wallaby exhibit. That, that big black canvas that you see up there is actually protecting our underwater viewing outside. It's a six foot deep pool that our penguins are gonna be able to swim in. You guys will be able to see them crystal clear water. And then that big rock you see there, that is a, um, it's got a 500 gallon tank inside of it, believe it or not, that we're gonna fill up with the water from the pool. And then it's gonna get flushed and push a giant wave of water out to create chop into that water and kind of encourage those penguins to um, swim, create some of that natural surf they would see in the wild. And even some of that water is gonna splash out at your feet to give you a little bit of that interactive experience. We just walked around the giant boulder that's going to have that flush tank we talked about in it. And this is basically the other side of that boulder and the pools that are adjoining to it. So you're, what you're seeing here is the back side of that underwater viewing. So when this is full, I'm actually going to be standing in a few inches of water. Penguins are going to be able to swim in the deep water and then come right over here to the beach, belly on out, stand up, waddle, and then walk right out. This is kind of what it's going to look like. This is actually going to be a dedicated penguin space and the public walkway will be just on the outside um, and you guys will be able to view them from here. So now we're going to walk over into the penguin building to show you guys all the activity that's been going on in there. All right, so now we're inside the penguin building. It's going to be the home of our penguins at night and in the winter. We're really excited about all this. The giant boulder rock work you're seeing there um, that the Nassau team for, with Jeannie Johnson has been working really hard on is actually where all our nest boxes are going to be. We're hoping to have a really successful breeding program with our penguins, so that's really, really crucial and exciting. What you're seeing right here in front of me um, is a really long expanse of acrylic glass or acrylic panel that's going to be going in for more underwater viewing of our penguin exhibit. Um, some of the cool features that you see is this arch here, so penguins will be able to swim under or walk over the top of it. They're gonna be able to belly out of the pool. Um, and then right here, this is a really unique feature that we built in. This is a five-fold garage door, so it's actually gonna be, when it's closed, it's like this, and then when we open it, it's gonna fold out and up, kind of create a canopy over that outdoor pool. So the penguins would actually be able to swim right over that concrete ledge you're seeing to go outside or there's two square holes in the bottom there where the penguins are actually gonna be able to swim underwater if we want. So on those kind of iffy days, we'd still be able to let them go outside if they choose, but we can keep a nice conditioned space for them if they want. So you're gonna come out of the penguin building, you're gonna walk up a path, and the first thing you're gonna see is on your left, you're gonna see this pool that these guys are all working hard in. Um, and then what you're seeing, that metal structure of, with the wood on it above is actually a pedestrian bridge that you'll go um, that you'll access the hippo building with. On the other side of the hippo exhibit, and I couldn't help it but get in here and take a little splash before the hippos get in. So if we're testing it out, making sure the depths are right. Um, another entrance behind the hippos to shift in and out. We're so happy and excited to have shown you guys what has gone on so far, and we look forward to showing you more updates in the future. So please tune in and we'll see you as the summer progresses.